He's been a welcome voice and familiar face in your living rooms for 34 years, bringing you news daily about everyone's favorite subject, the weather. And tonight, our favorite weatherman, J.J. Clark, is saying goodbye, retiring after a phenomenal career here at CTV Ottawa. With more, here's CTV's Joel Haslam. Joel. Well, Graham and Patricia, if only the divine can control the weather, surely it takes someone bold and remarkable to predict it. At CTV Ottawa, that legendary forecaster and friend is J.J. Clark. Everybody talks about the weather. It's His name is synonymous with snowstorms, cloudy skies, and downpours. A warm and beaming ray of sun casting his light on our television landscape for more than three decades. Whether it's a grocery store or the diner, everybody wants to talk to me about the weather. And you know what? I love that. And a legion of friends, fans, and followers loves JJ. Unlike the weather, he's been someone they can count on. A reliable and predictable fixture in their homes and lives since 1985, when Max Keeping asked the former radio announcer to join CTV Ottawa. We talked about it actually for about a year or two before I came on board. And thanks to him, I've had this wonderful, wonderful 30-year career. <laughs> Thank you very much. Well, look, look how Today, after thousands of broadcasts and forecasts, our favorite weatherman is announcing his retirement. Excited to enjoy the sunny days ahead without having to predict them. In a statement, he said, As you all know, I have been away from my duties as CTV News weather anchor for some time. Unfortunately, the problem has been my health. So I have decided it's time for me to retire. CTV and Bell Media have thankfully made it possible for me to make this difficult decision. I am also thankful to all of you for allowing me to come into your homes for so many years as part of the CTV Ottawa News Team. We're as Canadians obsessed with the weather and having a personality like that deliver it for more than three decades, um, it's been extraordinary. He's truly one of the best broadcasters in Canada. It was hot, it was steamy. JJ began his broadcasting career in high school. His velvety pipes the perfect instrument to deliver the morning announcements. Here's your host, JJ Clark. Along with his role as weatherman, a highlight of that career was hosting Homegrown Cafe, an enormously popular local talent show showcasing the region's gifted performers. Back in the days before television, everybody made their own fun. So Grandma would play the piano and Junior would fiddle and Darlene would step dance. You'd all have yourself a great old party. And I think that's really what the charm of the show is all about. The last night I said these words to my girl. JJ's talents were numerous too. He loves to sing, his baritone voice often rounding out the harmony for several fun, impromptu performances at the station. This boy wants you back again. This is the one you came to write down. Last miracle match. He passionately volunteered his time for countless charitable organizations was renowned for his miracle matches on the Chio Telethon when he wanders through the TV studio giving a three-minute, non-stop, non-scripted urging for viewer pledges. Thank you so much for being with us. He was always so smooth, a consummate pro, nothing seeming to phase him. You can borrow mine. Thank you very much. All right, let's, <laughs> let's have a look at what we've got going on in the satellite and radar right now. The man who's devoted much of his life to support health care in our region is dealing with his own personal health challenges. When on leave from CTV Ottawa for several months, you called and emailed the station daily, echoing the same refrain, where's JJ? We miss him. We missed him too. Some beautiful sentiment uh, that I've received over the last six months. JJ came home to CTV Ottawa last October. As you saw, his weight loss was significant. His once booming voice notably strained. Still, the warmth of his smiling eyes revealed the recognizable heart of the man we desperately missed. Thank you so much for your support. Uh, it really uh, meant a lot to me and it means a lot to me today. Shortly after his return to our newsroom and your living rooms, the city bestowed a gift upon JJ. A park on Bridlewood Drive in Canada would be named in his honor. Oh, I'm blessed and I'm grateful and I'm a happy guy.
In uncertain times, JJ was a constant, a calm, familiar voice that rose above the chaos and calamity of daily news. Just a wonderful, wonderful professional weather forecaster for so many decades and yet so much more. Everyone knew him, everyone loved him. They will miss him, and so will we. And whenever we find ourselves raising our eyes to the darkening skies, holding our palms upward to feel the falling rain, I hope we'll remember the line from a former CTV Ottawa jingle and the weatherman who made it famous. Well, JJ can't forecast his future, but odds are it includes a boat, a fishing rod, and some aimless drifting at the lake. We'll still call him from time to time to tap the former DJ's encyclopedic knowledge of rock music. If you need to know who sang any song and when, JJ's your guy. We'll all miss him here more than any words or tribute can say. <laughs> yeah. Joel Haslam, don't make me cry I yet. We still have a little it. bit to get through here. <laughs> Such a oh. great friend. Thank you so much, Joel. Beautiful piece. Thank you. And as Joel's story proved, JJ's impact on this community goes far beyond the weather forecast. Ottawa's mayor says his commitment to so many causes, just incredible. JJ really is a legend in broadcasting, and uh, he's going to be missed. Uh, I remember him fondly for the sheer number of community events that he took, play, uh, took part in, whether it was uh, the Reach Auction or the Chio Telethon or the Children's Treatment Center or the Ottawa Symphony Orchestra Spring Fling. I started listing all the things that I used to see JJ at all of the time. And he was a great MC because he was very funny, but he was an even better auctioneer. He could get the, the price of a, of a trip or, a, or a, an item uh, through the roof uh, through his persuasive uh, powers as an auctioneer. So we were so honored uh, a couple of uh, weeks ago, a couple months ago now, when uh, Councillor Alan Hughley and I officially dedicated the J.J. Clark Park in his neighbourhood in Canada as a way of saying thank you for how much he's given to this community. And we, of course, have been flooded by messages on social media wishing J.J. well. And we wanted to share some of them with you tonight. Louise Renault writes, You will be missed not only by your CTV family, but from all of us who have been watching you for 34 years. All the best, JJ. You were doing live segments from the allotments on Kilbourne back in 2008, and you took time for a picture with our baby girl. It was a, just great meeting you. You're a true gentleman and icon. And if you thought JJ was entertaining on air, you should have seen him when the cameras weren't rolling. Hilarious. It was an honor and privilege to work alongside you for more than three decades. That's from Michael O'Byrne, of course, our former noon anchor here he would know and so true and congratulations jj thanks for being part of our supper for all those years from philip jago job well done a good and loyal friend to the city thank you for your years of service blessings to you joyce halliday and short but sweet from foreign former foreign affairs minister john baird a great canadian and a final word to terry marcotte my friend jj clark is retiring He's absolutely one of the best, a great broadcaster, a wonderful person. His talent is off the charts. Enjoy the next chapter, Jay. You've made a great impact on the lives of so many. From Terry Marcotte, great to hear from Terry. And we, uh, to, to say the least, we have been flooded. And uh, we are sending them all to him. And uh, he is uh, he's one of a kind. Absolutely one of a kind. He will be missed so much by all of you, the viewers, but by us here. You can say what you see is what you get. He was so entertaining on air, but he saved some of his best stuff for us off air as well. <laughs> so many jokes, committed to memory, such a, a funny guy. Great in these moments as we are struggling up here a little bit, he would just take the reins and, and, and take knock over. Knock it out of the park. Yeah. A consummate pro. We yeah. wish him all the best and we wanted to thank him. For mm -hmm. all those years. Mm -hmm. Well, coming up, when will the parks be open? And not just to walk through.